do another full day of eating. So this is full day of eating number two. It's gonna follow the same format as the other one. So you know, I'm gonna show you my meals, the macros, maybe talk a little bit and go from there. All right, so my morning shake, I'm gonna do 10 ounces of the unsweetened almond milk. Then I'm gonna do one scoop of the gold standard whey. Vanilla. And that is my first shake slash meal of the day. It's breakfast and it's about eight o'clock in the morning. All right guys, it is now time to eat meal two or breakfast two. I have a little more energy now. I know when I first start some of these videos in the morning, I'm a little low energy. It's just because I'm hungry. I'm sure you guys can empathize with that. All right, so breakfast two is going to be two packets of the apple cinnamon oatmeal. I have three eggs. I have some mushrooms that I cut up that I'll be eating and I'm gonna saute them. And I'll show you. All right, so all I did was add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to this little cooking pan. And then I'm turning the stove to a medium high heat. I'll wait for that to heat up. But the oatmeal is done. Right, I'm going to add some black pepper. And some garlic and sea salt. And there's my breakfast, two. So I have the eggs and mushrooms, three eggs and about five mushrooms and then two packets of the apple cinnamon oatmeal. So that's my breakfast, two, and I'm gonna eat that, get some more work done, and check back in for my next meal, which would be lunch. You know what time it is, it's time to eat again. So that last meal was about 10-ish. This one is at 12, 12.30, so I have about a cup and a half of broccoli and then I have 10 ounces of potato so just Idaho potatoes baked in the oven and then I have eight ounces of chicken with some barbecue sauce and there is a another tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there as well so watching my full day of eating videos, it's probably not as much fun as watching some of the bigger YouTubers where they're eating like Chipotle every day or they're going out to eat at some other restaurant. That's just not really what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, so why would I show you that? I'm showing you what I typically do every day, and it's the same thing. I prep all of my meals for the week. You guys know this. It's on my blog. If you want to check it out, let's look at the fridge real quick. I'll show you the fridge. So you can see exactly all my meals. So here we have the prep meals that I'm eating. We got some waters in there, we got some mushrooms, there's some wine, eggs. Good afternoon. It is time for lunch number two. So it's 2.30. And I'm gonna have my afternoon tuna sandwich. And I also have some fruit.
So I have the tuna sandwich, then I have the frozen fruit, a half cup to three quarter cup of the frozen fruit. So if you're wondering kind of how I structure my meals, how do I know when to eat? It's really just, I try to eat every two to two and a half to three. I don't like to go any longer than three hours without eating generally. That is how I've found it's best for me as a hard gainer to gain weight. If I continue to supply myself with calories that it can't burn through. So I'm just trying to be at a calorie surplus or a caloric surplus throughout the day. Because as a hard gainer, you guys know, you just burn through those calories. Stick around, more meals to come. Now we have the pre-workout smoothie. When I take it, sometimes varies. Sometimes it's before, sometimes it's after, sometimes it's in the morning. I found though that I really do like taking it before my workout, about 45 minutes to an hour before my workout, because then I get the protein in there, I get all the sugars, I get all the carbs, energy. It's perfect. So let's check out how to make it. So I do have a video on this smoothie, but what you'll need for the smoothie is I have the almond milk, I have a Greek light yogurt, banana, I have some Simply Orange OJ. This is like medium pulp, whatever your preference is, go for it. Then I have again the frozen fruit and the whey. Oh, help if you aren't watching me. There we go, my bad. Mm. I recommend that. So like I said, this smoothie is about 45 minutes to an hour before my workout. And I also still have two tablespoons of dextrose to take. I'm not gonna take it with this, I'm gonna take it with my pre-workout. And then we got a post-workout shake, we got a dinner, we got a snack. There are more meals to come. So I actually forgot to film my pre-workout shake, which had the two tablespoons of dextrose in it. I do apologize, what I was doing though, is I was out getting a new camera. So I ended up getting the Canon G7X to replace the little hero. This camera is legit, at least I hope. I haven't started editing the footage yet, but hopefully this will have a much better quality. That's my hope. Anyways, enough with that. It is now time for my post-workout shake, so let's mix it up. I'm just gonna mix it. And it's just beast. It's just BCAAs in here. It's just the water that I drink during my workout or before, during, and after my workout. So it's like strawberry flavor. I don't really care that it's gonna mix with my vanilla protein. So then I'm actually taking some creatine today afterwards. So I'll take a tablespoon of that. Or not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Put that in there. Here's the big old tub of dextrose. Take two tablespoons of that. One, two. And then I got my protein. So this is actually whey protein, the 100% gold standard whey, the stuff that I showed you earlier. But what I do to make it easier to carry in my bag I just put it in like a try. This is like a sample size container that it, that they sent me, and I just put it in there. So again, it's actually the 100% gold standard way. Just do that. Just shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. All over. And that's it. The post workout shake is done. I'm gonna drink this. Then, in about 45 minutes, 
I'll have my post-workout meal. So I'm gonna say it again, be sure to stick around. All right, now it's time for post-workout meal. Let's get it. I have another prepped meal. So we have eight ounces of chicken with some barbecue sauce and 12 ounces of potato. So I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave for three minutes. I'm gonna put some of this in a bowl and heat that up for about a minute and then eat. I think I'm liking this camera. I think it's a lot more clear. Hopefully I don't drop it. That would suck. Ugh, waiting for it to heat up. And that is done. All right, so the broccoli is also done. Instead of putting it in a bowl like I said I was going to, I'm just gonna eat like a quarter of that. But that is this meal. And there's still another meal. There might be another meal. I don't know, I'm still pretty hungry. So we'll see how I feel after this meal. I know I have another one for sure. But then, you know, we'll go from there. All right, so the little guy over here couldn't finish his Chipotle, so now I get some chips. I'll figure out how to calculate those macros. I don't know how many chips are in here. Looks like a small bag of chips to me. So, I'm gonna eat those chips. And then I'm gonna eat another meal. So it is time for the last meal of the day. I gotta make this quick because my camera's about to die. So let me show you what it's gonna be. Hopefully I can make it. But I'm gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Then I'm gonna have an ounce of walnuts, half a cup of frozen, of the frozen fruit. And then I have some cottage cheese. A low fat and a full fat, I guess you would call it. What's that? Let's see if it'll let me make it before it dies. All right, so I'm gonna do a half a cup of the low fat. Go. Do a fourth of a cup. Go. Oh, full fat. Do an ounce of walnuts, which is basically a handful. So this is a full cup, so I'm only gonna put half of it. I have the cottage cheese, the fruit, and the walnuts, and then I have the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think that's gonna wrap up this full day of eating. You can see the total calories right here. Oop, check them out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I did this video, the full day of eating, because the first one had quite a few views, so it seemed like it was a good idea to do another one. Let me know what you thought about this video. I do, again, really appreciate the comments and the feedback. I always try to make these videos better and I take your guys' feedback and comments seriously. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed.